legend. I'm not sure what time it is for you, but I know that it's time for me to cook. Was that a good intro or was that just like really cheesy? Don't I have a treat for you, legend? I'm recreating a viral recipe on YouTube. It's got over 50 million views. It's one of the most popular cooking channels, most popular video. And it is this eight desserts in one sheet tray. And I have a feeling that this recipe is cap. I don't get how you can put eight desserts into one and for them to all cook evenly. But Tasty said we could do it, so we'll see if it works. I'm not sure which one's a sheet tray to start off with. I'm not sure if it's a big one or a little one. I'm not really expecting it to work. Are you? I feel like I just don't expect it to work, especially if I'm doing it. And luckily I have bought cookie mixes, brownie mixes, and I have to make my own brownie recipe because that would take forever. And the ingredients were actually pretty expensive for this, so if you're like sticking to a budget, this is not the dessert for you. It's actually gonna be really hard to follow along because there's just so many things going on. But I mean, all you gotta do is basically is buy a heap of like mixes and then you should be okay. Except for pumpkin pie, I quite, so I've gotta try to make that from scratch. You meant to use normal pumpkins, but I just bought pre diced ones. Does that sound really bad to me? I don't know, I just don't like pumpkin pie. Perfectly 80 grams of butter. I'm actually gonna have two things going at the same time because I am experienced! I am not excited to do the dishes for this. But I'm gonna do it for you because this is a really good title and hopefully your YouTube time will not be wasted watching this video. And I'm gonna make sure of it. I don't want you to like be unentertained on YouTube because I feel like when I go on YouTube, I feel like there's nothing to watch. I feel like I'm talking this up. I'm gonna do the best I can though. 125 grams of melted butter into my brownie mixture, which I bought from the shops and therefore is not mine. It's Betty Crocker's. So I'm mixing my brownie mixture in. I'm gonna also prepare my cookie mixture too. In this recipe, they actually have two cookies. Cake mixes are so easy. Pouring in the softened butter. And we're also gonna crack in one egg. I've got a lot of baking to do, and it's just me today. No other Norris nuts were coming because they're pretty busy trying to get other edits out. Okay, I actually have a couple of cooking ideas, which I think might be hard to film, but would be really good content. I think we should do a mama and papa cook off, every single kid cook off, and a baby cook off. And I also want to make a giant hamburger. Actually, this brownie mixture looks really good. These two, again, to the side. I've also got this pumpkin that I need for my pumpkin pie. I've got to make it soft into the oven to make a puree, and then just like combine it with a bunch of sugars, and that should be fine. <laughs> gonna chuck a whole heap of pumpkin onto my bacon dish. You like pumpkin? I'm not a big fan of it. So, so far I've made the two cookie doughs and the chocolate chip brownie. I'm actually gonna start putting the desserts in my pan. So we're gonna have to divide this into eight things. So I reckon like here, here, here. So the normal cookie dough like on this part. So do you reckon that looks like an eight? I'm gonna add the M&M's into my leftover cookie dough. You know what we should do? Cooking in your aesthetic. That looks so good. I'm gonna place a nice big hunk Right here. It's working out really well. It looks pretty good. I feel like I need to add a couple more M&Ms into here. Let's make the cheesecake filling. Do you think I could do a double crack? What's this? Sorry, I wasn't meant to add the eggs. Oh my god, no. Now we need 125 millilitres of thickened cream. Hopefully it works. No. I've got thick and cream in here and all over the floor. Let's beat this. As long as I'm fancy. Now let's pour in this cheesecake mixture. If you were going fancy, would you say it's turning out good or not that good? Oh, it stinks. I'm gonna have to make the apple pie filling. I've got a peel, core, and thinly sliced apples. They should have just bought pre-chopped ones. How good is that you can just like cook from boxes? Like whoever thought to make a cake mix is a genius. Why don't you sit there, relax, and listen to some chopping sounds? If you can live anywhere in the world, where do you reckon you'd live? I've never had apple pie to be honest. People say like grandma's apple pies are really good. Can anyone be allergic to fruit? Put some sultanas in there. You can also pour in a little bit of lemon juice. Would not want to get that stuff in your eye. I don't know the measurements for this. Sometimes in life, you need to be adventurous. All I know is that I've got to pour in two tablespoons of flour and also pour in a bit of sugar. I thought that this was meant to turn out a bit more like syrupy. Maybe it's more lemon juice. And I might make it too sour. I'm gonna pour some cinnamon in. Oh, cinnamon smells so good. I'm gonna actually go home and look up what is wrong with this because I feel like I'm meant to use like a juice or something. My apple pie filling is dry, it's not wet. Like it's meant to be wet. Did you follow the instructions? I don't know the measurements for this. I'm just like randomly putting the stuff that I need to get into my bowl. It's like turning out so dry. Saber, you have to realize that this is a different recipe from the one you're using. They use like canned apple pie. It's not, this is like not- Well, but how come their one looks syrupy? Because it's probably baked in everything. Also, it looks good when it's baked. 
tasteful. What, you show me the tasty one you're copying. It looks like that. You're using a completely different recipe. What do you mean it's gonna look like that? That one's canned. Oh, my sister's smart. <laughs> I might be wrong, but like that's what it looks like. Thanks, Zucky. But I didn't need Google, I just needed my sister. <laughs> Thanks, I postman's here and I'm like fully just like decked out and like a cooking outfit on the street. Hey. I guess it's not meant to be syrupy like the Americans had it. We're doing this the Aussie way, the dry way. No, I've got the pop pipe. I'm the biggest idiot ever. Why? I didn't leave this to Thor. Now I'm gonna be lying my tray with the biscuits that are in the cheesecake and the smalls. Hang out pretty well. If I can do this, I'm gonna be a really good cook. This was meant to be graham crackers, but because I'm Australian, we hadn't saw graham crackers, so we can't make a proper small. But I've used these things called milk coffee, are not biscuits. Hopefully it works just as well. That's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. So now I'm gonna puree my pumpkin. <laughs> I feel like there's so many different things going on. How do we make this work? I feel like I'm making baby food. How is this meant to go in dessert? I feel like I'm offending all the people who like pumpkin, but I feel like I'm not offending that many people because I don't think many people would like pumpkin in, in a dessert. Oh. I've got my pumpkin puree. Take pumpkin sugar, salt, and spice into a saucepan over a medium heat. We need 145 grams of white sugar. This is roughly just measure it, though. It doesn't really matter. It's just pumpkin pie. And um, spices. We got. Cinnamon, cloves, and ginger going in. Oh, spices just smell so good. So 330 milliliters of thickened cream. No, I wasn't meant to add the cream. I can't do it again because I don't have any more pumpkin. No, oh my God. And it's like, it's like, oh my God. Oh, and a question, what's the most gnarly time you've ever stuffed up in a dish? I really want you to like say it in the comments because I really want to read it. It doesn't leak into like, all my good stuff chilling over there. I hate pumpkin, I hate asparagus, I hate broccoli, I hate Brussels sprouts. I don't think anyone's gonna eat the pumpkin pie. I've gone through so many bowls. Last dish I've gotta make is the banana bread. So excited to finish. Not really excited to finish, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. Wait. I'm meant to add bananas into this? What? Luckily we always have spare bananas in the Narasana house because so I've only got one banana, I need four, but it's a pretty big banana. I feel like this is the perfect dish to make if you have like lots of friends who like don't know what they like. One quarter of a cup of milk. Got my olive oil, two thirds of a cup. I'm gonna add in my banana. I wonder if this is gonna turn out. What's your bet? I'm gonna assume that all of the desserts, I feel like they had different cooking times, but supposedly to taste these, they don't. Pour that in now. Looking pretty good. And hopefully this has been a good video for you and you've been enjoying it. it does look a little lumpy. There's my banana bread mixture. I'm gonna get my puff pastry. No, it's frozen. I haven't seen it's gonna snap. Yeah. Oh, didn't actually. Oops. This is the best I could really do. This pumpkin pie is really like milky, not thick. I oh, know, it's gonna leak. First up, let's pour my cheesecake layer on. It's been fun though. I've really enjoyed hanging out with you, so thank you if you stayed like this far in the video. And if you have, there's even better coming up. The Norris that's gonna judge my creation. First pie layer is gonna go here. That's the apple pie. I'm trying to like stay really focused, like really concentrating this part. Almost there, just don't stuff up now. This is like the part I can't stuff up in. I can do it, I can do it. Now this is actually turning out Really, really good. I just gotta try to get that into there, but I don't know how that's gonna work. I feel like I have to build a like a sturdier wall. Now this is definitely an impressive dish, but don't do it if you're short on time. Oh, that's heaps. Oh my god. <gasps> yes! <gasps> this looks amazing! We're gonna bake that for an hour on 150 degrees Celsius. And man, it looks really, really good. This could work. I've just got to add the marshmallows later because I know they're going to burn after an hour and probably ruin the dish. The best part's right now. One hour is up. Time to take it out. Okay, drop it. Oh. It actually looks amazing, don't you reckon? Do you reckon it looks even better than Tasty's? Oh yeah. Where'd it go? Um, bloody nose. Okay, Wooly's got the food spoon ready. Yep. And then also, now is the first thing have you want to try the, um... Cheesecake? Cheesecake batter. Okay, and I'm going to the cheesecake batter. Actually, William hate the cheesecake batter. Yeah, she, uh, he hate it. He hate it. I, I hate it. I hate the cheesecake batter. Whoa. Uh-oh, spit it out, spit it out. What? Cheesecake batter. You, you don't like it? No, I don't like it. Okay. You want to try the pumpkin pie? Yeah, pumpkin pie's here. 
It tastes good. Is it, it tastes like good? Yeah, it's good. Oh wow, that's good. Okay, do you want to try apple pie? Yeah. It tastes like different. No, it it's been like apple pie was a different apple pie, but no, it's not vanilla apple pie. Ugh. Uh, ugh. Okay. Um. So next one is brownie batter. Brownie. Oh, brownie chocolate brownie. Let me try. It's, it's good. Yeah, it tastes like good. Mm -hmm. Next one is banana bread. You want to try? Yeah. It tastes good. Next one is more. You want to try more? Yeah. It's like, oh, look at sketchy part. You know, your sketchy part. Mmm, that's good. This next one is animated cookie dough. You want to try? It's good. It tastes like good. Next one is cookie dough. Okay. Mmm, that's actually good. Thanks for watching on Summer Dose. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification. You guys go check out all the friends channel. Link is description down below for us on social media Summer Dose. So see you next time. Catch me, Knuckles.